Hey everybody, it's the Critter Dude, and welcome back to my channel. Or welcome to my channel if you're new here. And in today's video, I will be doing an update and a cleanup on my 125 gallon aquarium. So to start off with, I don't think much has changed since the last video. I still have my two tiger oscars there behind some algae, which is going to be cleaned off in this video. I still have my Texas cichlid. I still have my bullet ferret cichlid. And I still have my red devil cichlid. And I'm not sure where he's at, but I still have my Jack Dempsey cichlid. But I did add this guy in here. And this is the newest fish I've added recently. It's a baby largemouth bass or juvenile largemouth bass. Its tail is a little nipped up, but that happened when I added it to the tank because the other cichlids, when you add other fish to a tank with cichlids that have been established to the tank, they do like to show dominance. So the bass is a little nipped up, but it will heal right up. They don't mess with it anymore. And this bass was quarantined and I got it onto pellets and it was all healthy so I decided to go ahead and add it into this tank and when it outgrows this tank it'll go into my pond and grow massive I also still have all my catfish I have a couple Irwinny cats I have a driftwood catfish an Asian bumblebee catfish a couple spotted Raphaels there's a driftwood catfish there's a jaguar catfish there's a granulosis catfish. And I think that's it for the catfish. I think there's seven or eight catfish in here that are hiding up in the rock in decoration. Another update is when I last showed this tank, I believe I had two Jack Dempsey cichlids. And now I just have one as the other one passed away shortly after I recorded that video due to I'm guessing old age as it was a rescue and it was also kept in bad conditions and it also had some sort of a swim bladder issue and it had issues swimming and they got worse and worse as time went on and it's not really curable and it ended up passing away. I do have another Jack Dempsey cichlid growing out in another tank though, which will join this tank when it gets big enough. So what I'll be doing in this video is replacing the heater that's on the right as it's not really heating up very well anymore, but the other one is still working. So it's been keeping the tank warm enough, but I got a new heater that will be added in this video to the tank. I will also be replacing the two bubble bars that you see in the middle with one will be bigger and one will be the same size. They were out at the store of the bigger ones, which I wanted to make both of those bigger, but I want to see which one works better, the smaller one or the bigger one. And then I will add another of whichever one works the best. I also might take out those sponge filters and put them in a little bit of tank water and squeeze them out to get some of the gunk out of them. I'm not sure yet. I may not because they seem to be working fine right now. Also, I will be cleaning the algae that's on the left side. I believe it is growing there because the turtle lights are on during the day that are in a tank next to this tank and the algae just grown because I don't really keep these lights on much so I think that's the only way that algae would be growing and I will also be draining the water out down a little bit just to about where it's about half full so about a little bit of like about about a third of the amount of water that's in this tank just to get some of the old water out and then I'm going to fill it all back up and top it off and 
then I think that's about it for this video for, that I will be doing. I also have a couple fake plants that I might add in there. We'll see what I decide when I start doing stuff in the tank. Also, the water looks a little messy because they just ate prior to this video. I went ahead and fed them so that they would be done eating and then I can clean out the leftover food that they didn't eat yet. I will probably leave the leftover food on the bottom that has sunken down for the catfish because they like to eat at night. So first, I'm going to do a time lapse cleaning the algae off the side. Now that I scrubbed all the algae off, I'm going to go ahead and do the water change and try to get out some of that loose algae that came off the side. So I'll do a time lapse of that and then I will come back after that's done. So I think it's as good as it's going to get. I didn't realize I put that much food in. I usually put in a little extra food though to make sure the catfish get food on the bottom. And anything that's left over, the catfish will probably eat. But I went ahead and netted out some of the leftover food in the time lapse that you'll be seeing before this. Also, the water is still draining a little bit. I'm going to take the hose out of the water so that the suction stops. And then I'm going to put in the air stones next. So this is one of the air stones I will be using. It's a six inch bow bar. That will be going on one of them and then I got a 12 inch bubble bar that will be going on the other one. And this is the 12 inch one. Kind of see it's so a 12 inches. The 12 inch bubble bar from Magitarium. Also these air stones, I didn't notice this until just a while back but it does say to soak them in water for at least an hour before using them. But I've always never done that and they always worked for me. So I'm not sure if that's really necessary or if that's just to get off any of the dust from the charcoal that's made out of. Which I will rinse them though before I use them. So I'm going to be taking off this old air stone. So I got 
got this on. Trying to hide it underneath the sand. So I went ahead and took off the air stone from the other one. Now I'm just going to uh, hook it up. Hook up this new one. And I'm going to put it down here. Yep, it's all the way under. Make it wave. Can't see the bubbler. So I'm adding the heater in now. I went ahead and took out the old one off camera and now I'm putting in a new one. I went ahead and opened up the new heater off camera so it didn't take extra time in this video, make this video longer. So I'm just going to install the heater. Right. Right. Right there. Now I'm going to put some prime in and go ahead and fill it up and then I'll come back after the time lapse. I'm back, the tank is all filled up and clean. Also, there is a little bit of algae in the left corner in the back that I will end up scrubbing off at some point soon with a paper towel. I can't get it with the scrubber because of where it's at, but it's harmless to the fish. So I just am leaving it there for right now. Also, I didn't get all of the debris out. I got most of it that I could for now, but I will continue to get more of the debris out as I do water changes over the next couple weeks. I just never get it all out at once. Also off camera, I will be cleaning the lids and the tops of the light hoods so that more light will go through the glass and light the tank up more which you will see in a upcoming video when I show the tank again.
And I think that's about it. And I hope you liked seeing me clean up my 125 gallon tank and redo the bubble bars and heaters. Now if you have any suggestions for any upcoming videos, if you could leave those down in the comments down below. And if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, if you could also leave those down in the comments down below too. And don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and share. Until next time, take care.